comes my lazy, lazy husband, who can only just manage to ride down here while I drove the car. Yeah, he just sat on his bicycle the whole way down here while I drove the car. I drove, I drove the car. I pushed the pedal, put gas, I steered. Right, right. All you did was sit on a bicycle. And it's mostly downhill. Good point. So we're going on a bike ride with at least one other friend. And um, we went running yesterday. My lazy husband rode, like I don't know, he probably ran 14 miles, if not more. I ran almost seven. And that's too much. And I feel it today. I'm, I have a headache and my muscles are sore. And I really probably should not be doing this bike ride, but it's the first. Oh, here comes Charlie. I better put my shoes on. No Osher yet? No oh, yet. Good. All right, I have to stop talking and go get ready. You just stretch as if you've been working hard. <laughs> Are you on red yet? Yeah, it's going right now. It's going right. Hi, I'm Charlie. Right, well, but push okay. the, let me just check one thing. Okay. Thanks, Jim. We're letting a car go by before the big photo op. Hold on. That's Amy. That's Jim and Asher back there. And that's me. We're on Bevington Road in Ashford, Connecticut. Jeb? Hello there. Come on, Beautiful day for a ride. It yeah. sure is. Those are tri those are Iron Men. Ooh. Okay. Jim, look at the muscles on his leg. I'm zooming in now. <laughs> and look at those glutes. <laughs> I'm embarrassing the crap out of them. I am so, I am so bad. <laughs> Don't you think, Amy? Charlie, I've seen worse. Good. Amy's on 198 right now, and she's pulling all of us along. I can't believe I'm filming this at 40 miles an hour. I had to put the camera on slow motion to capture it. Not to mention we're going uphill. What? When you're facing it forward, all you hear is wind. No, I'm facing it backwards. That's enough. <laughs> No monkeys allowed in the bungalows. They have a knack for destroying whatever they touch. Especially Maruha here. She loves to eat books. No monkeys in your bungalow. Any questions? Joan raised her hand. Are we going to get out of here alive? Pete, get the stick. Right there. <laughs> oh, Pete. Get it. I will throw you in that water. Go get that. That's a nice stick. Get it. Come here. Hey. Get the stick. Come on. Pete, right now you're on. All right, we're gonna swim across, where, let's see, we're swimming for the, that area over there where it's sort of sandy. Yep. And then from there over to the far shore over uh, where the green stuff is, green yep. trees and things. And then all the way back to here. <laughs> with with Bree and Chris <laughs> and the water, according to Chris, <laughs> Is cold. It's chill. No, it's not cold. It's chilly. Chilly, she says. All right. I'll report back to you once I've survived. That felt so good. And now I'm headed home.
yeah, I actually ended up swimming um, across and back twice, so close to two miles. And, um, and I feel really good. The water was cold, but it wasn't unbearably cold. Um, or anywhere near unbearably cold. <clears throat> um, and it looks like we're going to come back and do it again next week and just make it a regular thing. Which is going to be good, because when I'm doing radiation, I was a little worried about... Um, because radiation is supposed to be really drying and difficult on your skin, and so is chlorine. <laughs> um, and uh, so it'll be nice to be able to swim here, some of the time at least, um, instead of in the pool, and um, hopefully spare my skin a little bit, and, and thereby allow myself to swim longer into the whole process. My friend who did radiation a few weeks ago, uh, a few months ago, could swim for the first like three weeks and then she just got too, both too tired and too sore. So I'm hoping that um, I have energy and I'm not too sore. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> and now <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, She's so brave. You're a chicken dog. You're a chicken dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I mean this was just yesterday was the first day she would do this. Oh. It's uh, so we're still oh. like proud parents. Oh look at our baby oh, swimming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four years old chicken dog. <laughs> we like you anyway, what is that? Are they, are they swimmers though? That no, I don't, I don't know. I, I know they're, you know, they're from Switzerland, so I don't think they do too much swimming. <laughs> <laughs> He's a work dog, so. Yeah. Well, are supposed to be work dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's I know it. Uh oh, it is. Uh -oh. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? You want to play? <laughs> I'm headed into my last hurdle before beginning radiation, which is an eye doctor appointment. At the request of my oncologist. I don't know. Should I go in this door? No. Maybe I will. Anyway. Too beautiful a day to have to go inside an air-conditioned space, but that's life. Sweet for my fire. I've been waiting for half an hour. My husband said they're probably going to put something in my eyes to make them my pupils dilate. I've never had that before. That makes me... I'm nervous. I don't want any more things done to me. But I brought my darkest sunglasses. Well, the good news is I don't need glasses. <laughs> that was the last. I have thought for sure they were going to try to tell me I need glasses. I had glasses when I was like 16. And uh, I just decided to stop wearing them. And the eye doctor was saying. If you get used to these glasses and you stop wearing them, your vision is going to get worse. And I'm, now I'm really curious to know what my vision was when I was 16, 15, when I got those glasses, because they're telling me now, like, if it's not bothering, if, you, you know, if you're functioning fine, you don't need glasses. <laughs> I am so surprised. I'm afraid, I want to take off these sunglasses, but I'm afraid to, because they dilated my pupils. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Ugh, one side is more, more so than the other. Oh, it's like I have, it's like there's an eclipse of the eye. That is f crazy. Look at that. That makes me uncomfortable. The other one's really big and the other one's like funky. Ugh, I don't like it. Alright. Time to drive home. I just noticed something for the first time. This uh, mulberry tree, berries on it. See, is 
actually mated with a maple tree. The two trees actually grow together at the base. I've never seen anything like that before. Driving home with my pooch. <laughs> Do you see that? You probably saw it better than me. Um, so tonight, Jim and I are going, we have been invited to dinner by some friends. I have a guest from Japan visiting who's going to be making us a Japanese feast. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With just tomatoes and a walnuts. Lot of <laughs> I was not thinking when I just said that. Tomatoes and walnuts and just greens in that. Thank you. Um, what else? <laughs> Yes. Whoops. And we should, yeah. Tell me what you just said. I'm a, I'm a princess. I'm a Snow White princess. And I can jump like a bunny. Thank you. The last time I was here. What is it, just cream? It's just cream. Ant eating fat. You can shake it in a jar and it whips. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You freeze the jar. Same. You just stop before. I'll shake it before. Freeze it before. Freeze the jar. Oh, the jar. How much? I see. Without a soap. With a room temperature jar. If you do it long water. enough, you're going to make butter. We did it in, when I was in nursery school. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Really? Yeah. Butter. yeah. So if you take yeah. long way. Yeah. yeah. If you use heavy action, cream Ooh, and, uh, yeah. and a room temperature jar <laughs> yeah. and you shake it. I just can't do this right. And it, <laughs> that's the whipping. You know, you're whipping it. And then it becomes firm. Like butter. Doesn't it separate? And, and then, yeah, it separates. So then you pour out the, whatever way is left and then rinse it with cold water to get it because it has a little bit of bitterness to it. So you have to rinse it. And what do you do with the whey? Oh, and then you can add salt to it. Um, How about the whey? Small loads. The whey you can use for when you cook um, potatoes or noodles or rice, okay, because it still has some nutritive value. And so, because I like, because I make. Uh, fresh cheese too, like cottage cheese, you know, or paneer. And so that's with, when you have that, then you have whey also. In there. And then I usually save it and use it for, for making rice. It makes rice taste different. No. I'm not crazy about it, Zephyr. It's not my favorite taste. Yep, not that guy anyway. Mm. Well, sure. it's, not we're sampling it's ants. Like you gotta make sure not to eat them though when there's, when there's poison around. When yes. the house is poisoned. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, it's extremely badly made, like out of plastic, so the crank it? snaps oh. and all these things. Hey, Donna, George's turn. Oh, like the like a, oh gosh, she's eating a knife. Kind of uh, I don't know, I don't have one of those, but I know I should know what they are. Is there a crank thing? Maybe, no, this is on the side. I know. In fact, some people just put it on the the stand and flip it with their hands once the frame I don't breaks. care if it tastes like nothing, so I'm not I eating ants. I have a giant... I have a giant... <laughs> these, these are shirts that Matt got in Japan. Right, right. This oh. one says, start baffled. Start baffled. And on the back, be baffled at the start. <laughs> 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 this is a good one. Jim, hold it up. You gotta have the right size, though. Hold it up to your chest, yeah. Oh, this is a girl shirt. She is out of her mind. What? love, what's cool, relations, my honey, need more, <laughs> strongly hug. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I'm not going to take my shirt off. Sorry. Let well, me tell Wednesday. Oh, she got here Whoops. Sunday night. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Oh, you are so... He's taking video oh. of us. Tired, my girl. Yeah, that's what I was She's like, say. oh. Yeah, uh, Duffer gets really snuggly when she gets tired. Do it. And then I. All the 